Hello and welcome to Avenging Pass 7. This is day 226 of our free-to-play farming guide. And we do have a couple things to talk about today. First, let's see what I can muster up to say about the video that Star Wars Theory released last night. Because I have some opinions on it. Um... There is now a rumor out there that Disney is trying to liquidize some of their assets and get their money back since they've spent so much money over the last 10 years and they have not, supposedly, are not able to meet their dues and their debts right now. In terms of that, I wouldn't be surprised, actually. I feel like they have been buying just buying and buying and buying and that they're not making the money they need to make um ever since they bought star wars they haven't really stopped buying i mean they bought marvel they bought star well they bought star wars they bought marvel they bought fox they bought they've spent money and money and money on their parks so it, it actually i'm not too surprised if they do need to uh find a way to make some money i mean they invested in Disney Plus, and I don't think Disney Plus has really made them any money um, with how much they've put into it. Um, but the rumor continues on to, and because of that, they, they are considering selling Star Wars back to Lucas, George Lucas. Now, I don't know if they would actually do that. I feel like that is a huge sale that really takes out one of their biggest potential money makers but at the same time they don't really know how to use how to utilize Star Wars to make money they invested millions millions and millions of dollars into the Galactic Star Cruiser and they're closing it within a year they invested millions and millions and millions into Galaxy's Edge and People don't really love it. People like the Millennium Falcon ride, I'm sure. People like the Rise of Resistance ride. But other than that, it doesn't really feel like Star Wars to people. So it's not making the same amount of money that they probably projected. They invested hundreds of millions into the sequel trilogy. And it did not bring back the money that they probably thought it would. Now, those, all those movies did make money. But Solo bombed. And Solo bombed because The Last Jedi was awful. It's They're not making the money that they probably expected to make. And now they're prob they could be considering what do they do with it. Because they don't know what to do with Star Wars. The best Star Wars we've gotten in the last so many years has been the finale season to Clone Wars, Tales of the Jedi, and Jedi Fallen, Fallen Order and Sur Survivor. Those have been the best of Star Wars that we've received. And, and I guess Mando season one. So like, what do they do? Now, if they sold it, if they so did sell to Lucas, I would be very excited, and I would hope that he looks at everything they've done, he says, screw it, and he makes a new sequel trilogy. That is the sequel trilogy he wanted to make, and it's about Crimson Dawn with Darth Maul and Darth Talon at the head of an underground criminal syndicate. You know, Luke Skywalker starting up a... New Jedi Academy. Jason and Jaina Solo joining that academy. Um, Leia and Han having to deal with this underground syndicate. Um, Jason falling to the dark side and having to be redeemed and come back from that. I think that would be amazing. I think that would be wonderful. And I don't see why we sh he, sh he shouldn't or wouldn't do that. I just hope that he would. I hope that he would bring Star Wars back up from the ashes. That he would fix the theme parks. Although that's 
pro that probably wouldn't happen. Those theme parks were so expensive to build. It would be so expensive to fix it. How do you even begin to consider fixing a theme park that people don't like? I, I wouldn't even know. I mean, I was saying it again last night, but I've said it before and I, I'll say it again. From a business decision, they never should have invested as much as they did into the sequel trilogy. They should have invested into the original trilogy. Just from a business perspective of look online and see people criticize the prequels, people criticize the sequels, no one criticizes the originals. And that's where they should have landed for the theme park and the uh, hotel resort. That's where they should have landed with it. That's where they should have gone with it. And the fact that they did it shows that they were not looking at it from a business perspective, but from, you cannot eat cheese, cat. You don't need my cheese. Um, they were not looking at it from a business perspective. They were looking at it from some other perspective that ignored what people would have wanted and they're losing money from it or they're at least seeing that they're not making as much money as they projected comment down below let me know what do you think about that rumor do you think disney will sell to lucas do you think disney should sell to lucas and if they do what would you want to see out of it what would you want out of that if they do um i'd love to hear your thoughts and uh hear your ideas on all of that because you know why? You know it's always fun to speculate. Um, it's always fun to think back about when you know sitting around with friends when I you know as a kid and just like what ifs and you know the arguments on which movie was better and all that. It's it was always fun as a kid to do that and you know as adults we still can. You don't have to lose your imagination as you get older. We can go up one more tier on this. Get a little bit more speed. Why not make the Geos a little bit stronger? But I think with all of that, that's all my dailies. Uh, that's all I can really do right now. Um, I did unlock Je Jedi Knight Luke, and I did get him up to, I think, gear 8 or gear 9 yesterday. And so I'm playing around with him in Conquest, seeing what, what I, all I can do with him. I'm enjoying it. Um, Y'all have a fantastic day, and may the Force be with you.